Layout styles allow you to change the way your report looks. There are loads of options, so it's worth spending some time looking into this for your reports. Click on Styles. Straight away, you'll notice that this looks similar to Word or other Office-style products. It's actually a fairly common approach. The key point here is that components of your template will use these styles to display content. You'll need to specify the styles and how they are used within each component in your template. We look at two simple examples and make the changes really obvious so that it's easier to see what's going on. Take a note now of what these styles look like as we'll make some adjustments to them. Now let's find a component to change. Click on Design. The report appears with components laid out. Now, what do I mean by that? Hovering over the report, different sections become highlighted, revealing icons we can work with. Each of these sections is a component. If you need a bit of a recap on what components are all about, then I recommend you watch this video as well. Let's look at the school name component. At the moment, it doesn't look that exciting. This is its name, this deletes it from the template, this copies it within the template, and this allows me to edit the component. Click Edit. There's a fair bit of detail here, but we're focusing on styles, so let's look at the styling section and select a different style. Let's choose Header 3 style. Click Save. You can see that the text is now bold and a bit bigger, but what if we wanted to change that style? Click on Styles and search for Header 3 Style. Click Edit. More options become visible. To change something here, ensure the box is ticked next to the detail you want to change. Let's change the background colour with a really obvious change. We'll try Red. Click Save. Notice the style now displays the change. Let's look at that in the report. Well, that's an obvious change. Let's try another. Directly underneath is a text component. Let's make that one more interesting as well. Presently, it's using the default style and set aside for the school motto. Let's edit it and put in a motto. Change the style to Header 2 Style. Click Save. Again, the change becomes visible. To change this further, let's change the Header 2 Style. We'll select a nice purple tone. Let's deselect bold and select italics instead. Now let's check the look of the report. The changes are quite obvious. When making changes though, be mindful that other components might be using the same style and could then unintentionally take on a new look. You can also add a new style. Click Add a Style. Give it a name, for example, My Special Style. Let's put in some special colours and text options. Click Save. The style appears in the list. If I decide that the style is in fact not that special, I can delete it. And if I don't like the changes I made to the other styles, I can also revert those back to what they were. You can see that the report then reverts back to what it looked like before we started.